And we're back, fellow knife enthusiasts, bringing you the newest knives for this week. We've got fixed and folding blades from Kabar, Bestek, and Sierra KT. Luckily for you guys, there's no gift of gab this time around. C and I are just going to get right down to the table. I'm going to start right off by saying she's still here. Up first, the Best Tech Fin. I'm really liking their multicolored handle models they've been shelling out recently. They had the Platypus and the Irita, both multicolored, you know, because of the Carbon Fire and G10. And now they've released the Fin Liner Lock. I think it's another spectacular folder, in my opinion. Yep. I know why you think so. But I just said it was due to the multicolored handle. Yes. And the fact that it has, what, 12 different options had zero bearing upon your decision, did it? I think you know the answer to that question. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'll go specs on this one. Let's do it. This flipper is 8.39 inches overall with a 3.67 inch 14C 28 end spear point blade. Available in black satin and two-tone finish. This version is the satin. We also have the two-tone here. So, yeah. The handle on the satin one is multi-orange with black-orange beige G10, while the two-tone is multi-blue with black, blue, and brown G10. Boop, boop. The Best Tech folder is also available in plain G10 orange and plain G10 black with other wash options, respectively. And all are available at AtlanticKnife.com. There it is. Yeah. 68 bills. 68. 68. There it is. Okay, go ahead. Let's finish up this. Finally, this line of lock operates on ceramic ball bearings, a black backspacer, stainless tip-up pocket clip, jimping, lanyard hole, and so you can't beat a jimp flipper. There's lots of jimping. Yeah. So I'll show them. This little works the same, but I'll show you. Ooh, yeah, you can see what you're doing. You're over dramatizing, so you don't. Uh, I wasn't over dramatizing. I was making sure I didn't scratch the knife this time. Mm -hmm. I learned from my mistakes. Make some other individuals. Okay. Not right, sure what that means. So I'm going to go real quick. I like the spear slash kind of dagger style blade cut they have going on. I always have. I like the available color choices. I like the price range. They're usually more about 52, but I understand cost doing business does go up, so I get it. I also like the wash options as well. I kind of like the two-tone. I know you don't, but I, I kind of do. Finally, I like this feel of EDC. It It is an EDC because, you know, G10 and the blade steel and the overall style. And I think just for the price, you could do you could do way worse than a mm, best. I'm can. sure you could do worse. I like most of Best Tech's regular EDCs. The Irita and Platypus are just my recent favorites. I think I'm going to add this one to the mix. I like this one. All right. Well, oh, I'm going to surprise you. How are you? I kind of like the two-tone on this one. What? Because it's in the middle of the blade, it makes it look more defined. Mm -hmm. I mean, this, this blade's obviously for aesthetics anyway, because it's only one-sided. Okay, well, it's not a dagger, it's spear, but, it's, it's but it looks like a dagger. But it's kind of made to look like it. And I yeah. like that part. That's fine. I mean, of course, it better be one-sided, because I've got to close it. I better not cut myself. Exactly. But it's beefy. I also like the uh, design of the handle, and it's also contoured. Mm -hmm. I can't show you that. I'm it not sure. It kind of mirrors the blade. Yeah, maybe you've seen it, maybe you didn't, but... Right here. It's, it's really nice. I mean, I like this one a lot. They always deploy nicely. I'm not sure on their blade steels. They're always changing. This one's 14 C 28 N. Mm -hmm. Sometimes That's they got D2 mostly. Big European steel, yeah. you know. But you know they sell these knives everywhere. And of course the next one we do, it'll have a uh, different steel mm -hmm. also. All right. So go ahead. Ready for the next knife? I know I am. Go ahead. Ready? Yeah. It is the K bar. U S S. Is that two S? Two S's. U S S F space bar. K bar. See now I say space force. Space bar K bar. That name is right up my alley. Mm -hmm. Not to mention, I am now infatuated with the gray and blue color combination. I am really glad that K bar finally decided to shake things up color wise. Mm -hmm. That is nice. Well, that has jewel written all over it. I mean, you it. did last week say that if a company finds something that works, mm -hmm. they should stick with it. I believe you mentioned K-Bar yeah, specifically. I, I did. And as you can see, they did stick with what works, okay? Mm -hmm. They're still using 
the Crayton G for their handles. This time it's just in blue. Mm -hmm. They got the clip point blade, which is seven inches long, uh, 1.18 inches wide, and like 0 0.165, something like that, thick. Mm -hmm. It's made of the usual 1095 Cryvo. Crybane steel. It's got the Crowvan, Crowvan, gotcha. Crowvan yeah. Mm -hmm. There's also the butt cap and the guard. I mean, the total length is 11.75. Don't inches. even get me started about the butt cap and the guard. <laughs> it's also made in New York, USA, Earth. That's just for the Space Force thing. Yeah. Obviously, this is going to be a uh, collector's item. I mean, you can use it if you want to. I mean, it's not highly priced. But. I'm thinking with the design of the box, the color, the sheath, collector's item. So, well, we didn't mention it has a gray, mm -hmm. molly, Compa compatible sheath. So if you want to use a sheath, it. go ahead. And blade comes in about 56 to 58 on the HRC scale. Mm -hmm. Really couldn't ask for more. I don't think I could either. Really couldn't ask. Okay, so what do you like about this knife? Man, what do I not like? It's their standard That's K bar. A question. I love this color. Mm -hmm. It's like not just a regular blue, it's like in your face light blue. I like that. Well, it's using the colors of the United States Space Force. Well, there's no orange on it. Yeah, I noticed that. I was a little disappointed. I'm not. I don't really that, like uh, orange. They didn't stick it in there somewhere. So I, I like this. You Good they, job. They could, have, they could have done the letters, the NASA and the USS. It look the tacky. It's I like blue. this one. Stick with this. It's the Space Bar <laughs> K Bar. And, and it's just eighty nine eighty four. Right here, AtlanticKnife.com. I don't want to move on because I, pre I prepared for this. Did you really? Yeah, the NASA shirt, the little airplane. Mm. I was like, ah, yes. I, I couldn't think of a drink that you make for space, so mm. I couldn't prepare. Ah. Okay, Sarah, Sarah. Rocket martini or something. I, don't I know. guess. Tom okay. Collins. Okay. Uh, Really. Up next is the CRK, one of CRKT's new models on yep. the Rizal. But, like always, don't forget to smash those like, share, comment, and subscribe buttons. That way, you can see all there is to see here at Atlantic Knife. Oh, that's pizza. There you go. There you go. And so you can be automatically entered in our weekly giveaways. Mm -hmm. This week, we are announcing the winners of the CRKT giveaways. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. By the way, guys, thanks for the support. All right. Awesome. So on YouTube, mm -hmm. the winner of the CRKT Carson and Minimalist Cleaver Neck Knives is none oh, other. You know what? You, we really liked our top 10 neck knife episode. We might do another one of those. Maybe ranking just cold steel neck knives, like one of our... Uh, commenters may have suggested to us. Maybe. So. Anyways, winner of these two neck knives is Carson and Matt G. You see how we didn't mess that up this week? Yeah. It's not Matt Graham either. Not this time. No. Maybe next time Matt Graham. Whereas, oh, I, I kind of don't want to put that one on the right. Okay. Did I do that right? I don't think I did that right. I can't see it. I can't. I'm not looking. There we there go. We That's go. backwards. And on AK's blog, we're giving away the CRKT KHC machete. There it is. So, the lucky winner of this is the acclaimed Griffin. Madsen. Madsen. Gryffindor. That's what you went with. I wanted to go Hammer with the, I wanted to go with the one where he wraps the little things around his arms and he flies around the room. Gail, you're a female. He's All right. Like Sunday morning. That's the song. I know. If you missed out last time, don't worry. We're doing another giveaway. We know. You're shocked. Mm -hmm. So now on YouTube, if you like, share, comment, and subscribe, you'll be entered to win the Best Tech Tech, so I can recognize that what? thing from anywhere. Orange and two-tone finish. There it is. Yeah. Oh, that's two-tone? Yeah, stone wash and satin. Nice. Go ahead. I know. Do your thing. And if you head on over to Atlantic Knife's blog and answer the AK trivia question, mm -hmm. you'll be entered to win the SOG Terminus. Oh, wow. Another with Terminus. With XR Lock. I love XR Lock. Yeah. So. You didn't make our next knife better. What? XR Lock. <laughs> that leads us back to the table. Are you ready? 
All right, we're ready. All right, this is the only new CRKT we have this week. We'll probably do some more next week. We will. But we'll start off with the Rizelle model, which is the new Rizelle GT line of lock. Yes. There it is. Did you notice that? GTO. I noticed something about it already. Go ahead. Fine. Okay. Try and copyright that, Ronnie and the Daytonas. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, I don't think they want to claim that. That's funny. Yeah. Okay. Let's start with what we like about it first. Okay, I'll go first. Not fair. I like that it has a chisel mm -hmm. point tip. That's a fair thing about the Rizal. Mm -hmm. I also like, I think I like <laughs> that it's assisted opening. I normally don't, but some of the Rizal, I have the old Rizals. Some of the ones that I have, they're beefy. And they would be nicer if they had a flipper tab. And I like the... Uh, Whatever you want to call that thing. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, my first thought was, wow, good thing I was holding onto that knife. Because I, I opened this puppy for the first time this past Tuesday, and it like flew. It does have some zing. I wasn't even gonna. Knife. I wasn't even prepared. It kind of just took off, <laughs> like right out of my hands. So. I got you. So, I mean, right there in the box, as soon as you open it, it says. I know, opening. I know what it says, but look, when you first get a new knife, at no point are you like, oh, let me look at the instructions and figure out how to use it. No. You take the knife out, you're like, man, I'm so excited. I want to flip this thing open. You want to sh use it, I show it. it off. I got you. Okay, well, that's exactly. the price of a lost finger, you know? Well, it was well, well worth it. I bet friend. it was. What well else? worth it. What else? Go ahead. I, too, like the chisel style blade on good. this one. It's good for push cutting and or scraping. I especially like the rounded blade spine on this version. I like that a lot. I don't know why. I just like the rounded spines better. Um, the glass breaker end is nice polished feature as well. I also appreciate the detailing they did on the handle because it is uh, one of the smoother aluminum materials. So you kind of need something for some extra grip. Good work, John Graham. Good work. Go ahead. Hmm. All right. So do you uh, want to do the specs now? All right. You have to ask me twice. So... <laughs> CRKT Rizal GT is 7.56 inches overall with a 3 inch satin finish plain edge 8CR 13 movie stainless chisel style blade. Mm -hmm. Yes. Which is deployed via the flipper stud and operates on CRKT's IKBS ball bearing pivot system. All right. Handle is black 6061 aluminum. Mm -hmm. Great strength and minimal weight. Finally, there's a lanyard hole, a tip up pocket clip, and an improvised glass breaker we say improvised because crkt does not directly state that this is a glass breaker but you could use it if the uh, need arose no jimping on the flipper stud but i think on this knife you don't really need it i believe i mentioned john graham was a designer of this carry so just that i give him props you know mm -hmm. yeah. well you know they've made lots of resils mm -hmm. so the ring resil obviously is the one that most popular is the oldest it's a fixed blade knife but then they had this brazil Oh, and I just, I just noticed. Just pull it out for no. I just noticed that my Brazil is defective. Is it the one you bought? <gasps> I have more than one. I had never taken this out of the box, so I just reached in there and grabbed one out of the box, and that's probably why you saved it. You say you never take it out of the box, but I bet you took it out of the box. Like, oh man, this one I tested. Well, I have another one. Yeah. You know what? Well, I think this one's defective too. Yeah. <laughs> I think. Oh, look at that. Oh no, that stinks. I guess we'll just have to <laughs> keep it. That sucks. And it's just oh, 48.84 on landknife.com. Not it is. this one. There we go. Okay. Guess what? You're gonna give me some bad news. Yes. Yes. We have now arrived at the final blade on the table. Disappointing. Uh -huh, no. The best tech circuit. I have to say that this is a pretty nifty, snazzy little EDC. I'm kind of reminded of Circuit City. <laughs> the colors and the name, it just kind of goes. There's a lot of people out there don't know what you're talking about. They're all older, aren't they? They know, they know Circuit City. Okay. For the young ones out there, just Google it. Okay, you'll find it. I don't know if, I don't know if Circuit City was uh, national. What do you mean you don't know if Circuit City I was national? I think it was regional. What? No. So, I'm not sure. We'll see. I don't think that. No. And when I first heard it and saw a picture of it, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like that. But now that I have it, I do. I like it. It's nice. So what about it do you love? 
Well, that's obvious. It's the color combination. Combo. Yeah. I knew it was coming. Walked right into yeah, that one. I do like that. Now, this one does not have as many options to choose from as the Best Tech Fin. It's only mm -hmm. got four. But I do like color options. And that's not the only thing I like. The handle style and detailing is unique. It's about what I would think a circuit handle would, would look like. I mean, mm -hmm. there may have been some lighting up <laughs> or some pulse coloring, but that's a little gimmicky, so... I also like that it has a 6AL4V titanium pocket clip. Both the material and the design appeal to me. I like that. How about you? Well, I'm more infatuated with this one. Are you? I'm not sure where I'm at on K110 yet. I'll let you know. I said I think I said that last week, didn't I? Maybe. But I like this knife. It's a good size. I like the pivot. Mm -hmm, the pivot they use. I, I don't. I don't like a just basic old pivot. You know, I like it. it's nice, nice design. The knife is very streamlined. I like the design of it. Yeah. And it has a true deep carry pocket clip. True deep carry pocket clip. Okay, you put this in your pocket and you won't see anything but the very top of the clip. Mm-hmm. So I guess you want to handle six then. Sure. And you know, I think Circuit City is actually still around. I think they're all, somebody revived the name and it's only online. Go check that out. So, this knife is 7.55 inch overall mm -hmm. with a 3.22 inch jimped blade made of, there it is, K110, which comes in at about 59, 60, call it 61 on the HRC scale. Mm -hmm. Handle material is G10, available in red, black, and blue, blue gray. gray. Nice. Blade is opened. Yeah, I learned from my mistakes, but <laughs> blade is opened with the jimped flipper stud and armor operates on ceramic ball bearings. Mm -hmm. It also has a gray titanized finish. Mm -hmm. Though there's also a satin finish option in the red. Weighs so. 3.56 ounce. And lastly, it is only 68 big ones. Yep, right here. AK.com. Landknife.com. Yep. That <gasps> completes this AK blade episode. There it is. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We want to get those sub numbers up, up, and away. We really appreciate you last week. Oh, the more space. subs we have, Reverses. the more content we will be allowed to create. And the more giveaways we could do. Larger, bigger giveaways. We're also on Mito sites like Facebook, Pinterest, Reddit, YouTube, and Instagram. I'll let you have we, it all We already this do week. a giveaway. I'll let week. you have it all. But larger giveaways. You know, like that guy at Crispy Watches. What's his name? The guy that gives away a house and Lamborghinis. And oh, Mr. Beast. Oh, yeah. So, like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we'll give away some Lamborghinis. You, know, you give someone a Lamborghini. Do you mean you? I think a Ferrari. Oh, would you? I'm, I'm not a, Are you serious? I'm not a self-indulgent weenie. Oh, okay. Because I was about to say, I was like, really? You okay. wouldn't take a free I'm Lamborghini? A, I'm a big Meacham watcher, so. Okay. You know. And with that, it's an auto auction. I'm C, and this is... Just take a Lamborghini jewel. Yeah, I bet you are. I bet I am. Just take a jewel, a jade. I can't remember all the stuff that you are. And we are. Oh, wow. Signing off. We should all look up like we're going to space. What is? Signing off. Yeah. You have a little. Some toothpaste floating by. Ooh, why toothpaste? Oh, out of the tube. That's what I mean. You handle that? No. And that good. Signing off.